That's, and that's what I'm saying is that our bodies are perfectly and divinely designed. 90%, 95% of what we eat has nothing to do with creating the oxygenation, the hydration, the mineralization, the alkalization, or facilitating cellular regeneration or elimination. Most of the stuff that people are eating they're eating because of our being under a system of capitalization and capitalism and commercialism and behavior modification. Behavior modification, meaning that the chemicals, the stabilizers and whatnot, what makes Minute Maid orange juice taste what it tastes like in Florida and then it tastes exactly the same in the state of Washington or in DC or in Texas regardless of what batch of oranges is coming from. It has to be chemical. You, you understand? So no, our bodies are inundated with all of these chemicals. The effect of the chemicals is they've modified our behavior to the degree to which we're not able to respond correctly and directly to being warred against where food is the tool of oppression. And so then the weapons of mass destruction are the tobacco, the alcohol, the refined white sugar, and the pharmaceuticals, including the pesticides, the herbicides, and all of the things that the flesh that people are eating are inundated with. So let's say if somebody wants to say, okay, fine, you know, I really like what this lady's saying. She, she's definitely resonating with me. I want to make this, you know, I definitely want to start. How do I get some of this clay? And I'll definitely get your contact information at the end so you can uh, perhaps talk to uh, some of these individuals. But um, uh, uh, would that actually help with cravings? Because a lot of these things that you're talking about, alcohol, you know, I've had alcohol before in the past, or tobacco, or um, sugar, sugar's a big one. A lot of these things are highly addictive. So if you're taking that clay in the morning, which I, I'm thinking would be phase one, perhaps there's some more steps that you would need to do. Would that actually help with addictions? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. The clay, we're talking, and my brand is Mother Earth's Blessing. Right? So you've got that cosmic background behind you, right? We're all citizens of the cosmic, right? We're already in eternity. The earth is about as big as a period at the end of a sentence in relationship to the rest of all of the universe. And then there's an infinitude of universes within this cosmic, right? So we're already immortal, right? We're on a biospheric intergalactic spaceship called Mother Earth, and she is moving through eternity and our bodies are perfectly designed for this cosmic journey. We've come to the earth through the wounds of our mothers, sparked by the divine sacred fluid from our fathers, but then we don't have a practical orientation of the divinity of anything, the divinity of all things. So the clay coming from deep within the earth, it will neutralize any of these toxins, right? Help to flush them through the system if you will open up all channels of elimination so that the toxins can get out. But it will take away your desire for that which is in or that which is not in your best interest. You understand? So those ones who smoke cigarettes, cigarettes have what 110, 115 chemicals in them. You understand? So that when you light them, it is intended to burn. You understand? When people roll roll spliffs or whatever, if you don't draw on it, it's not gonna keep burning. Tobacco, the cigarettes are intended to poison. Okay, so all of these chemicals in the tissues, in the brain and whatnot, Mother Earth's blessing is the earth, is the clay and the herbs to help bring this stuff out of the tissue so that you are able to really begin to clear and cleanse your, your blood. Because see, the spirit is charged upon the cells. And what we're consuming, we're consuming to create oxygenated, enriched blood. So I'm saying this is like creating the blood of Christ, a bloodstream that bears no violation of violated beings, no inebriants, no intoxicants, no artificial colors and preservatives and behavior modifying substances to the degree to which we can take responsibility for oxygenating fully, hydrating, mineralizing, and consecrating our bodies for the re-enthronement of the true spirits of the living gods and goddesses in these temples, which is where we meet God. You understand? So, so they put all of this money into polished wood, metal, and stone, and they build churches and synagogues and mosques and all of these temples and then destroy 
the integrity of the temple that God has created for its own dwelling. 